Hello my fellow YouTubers, Brian here. Uh, no, I haven't been posting much on my channel here. I've had this channel for a while, but something that's about to start getting changed up. Because this year, my son and I have decided to start going kayak fishing. Yep, we've been fishing for a couple years now, but now we decided it's time to take it out on the water. So the first week of January of 2023 this year, I ordered a Lifetime Yukon kayak from Walmart. Uh, really nice, it wasn't expensive. And I, the weather has been horrendous over here, so while I've been waiting for the weather to clear up, I have been working on rigging up the kayak to get it ready to go out on the water. So I do have a couple of things I will share with you that I've already done with it. So let me go ahead and go through those with you. All right, excuse the mess. I had moved a bunch of stuff in the game room to make room for the kayak in here. So I got my kayak crate here. I took some ideas from several other YouTubers that have made some. So what I have here, I got a couple of rod holders. I had two milk crates cut off the bottom of one of them. Zip tied it here to make like a hinge. <clears throat> and this is just a pencil pouch. It was like a dollar at Walmart. You know, I'll just hold some lures in there on the side so I don't always have to dig through the, my tackle box to get through stuff. And right here, made like a net. I got this from Kayak USA with TJ. He's an awesome guy. He makes a lot of cool stuff. And I just got some essentials in here. I got an emergency poncho, first aid kit, waterproof pouch for my phone, some bug spray, some extra bungee cords, and some sunglasses. And I've got a little hook here to keep the lid down. So it goes up and hinges up. And it's got some stuff in there. I haven't filled it up yet. I'm still working on that. And on the other side, got another pencil pouch to hold some lures. So my kayak crate is complete. Just got to load it up, get some good supplies in there. And next, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos. And I know a lot of people ask how do they install their sonar on the bottom of their kayaks, their transducer. So I watched a couple of guys and got some ideas. And so what I did for mine is I'll show you here. I got some white foam plastic. White foam practice golf balls to plug up this couple holes to stop from water getting in. So here's two in the very rear. So what I did, I took two that I had on the side. Here's my transducer. So took one of these golf balls, cut it in half, sandwiched the cable from the transducer between it, shoved it into the scupper hole, and then it was loose and all, it was hanging. So I was like, I got to figure out how to mount the transducer to the golf ball. So what I saw is that, sorry about the lighting, there's an actual slot in the transducer. So I took a couple zip ties, poked it through the golf ball around the transducer, and there you go. It's mounted. It's not going anywhere. Now, I know everybody says don't put your kayak on, on its side, but it's on pillows. So let me go ahead and flip it over and show you the other side real quick. And so this is where my transducer cable comes out. This is the second golf ball, which also was cut in half. Sandwich the cable. Put in here with some Yak Attack mounts. Feed it, fed it all the way through to come out right here. So I have your power cable and the transducer cable. Same Yak Attack mount going to... Well, Lawrence hooked to four without the GPS. I'm a beginner, so I want to learn it first before I spend buku money on it. And let me go ahead and show you where I keep everything. It's in my front hatch here. Grab my handy dandy flashlight. Let's see, here's all my cables. I ran it from the back in, and then going up through there to the fish finder battery I have is a 12 volt 7 amp 20 bucks at Academy so you couldn't beat that so I did order a watertight box for it from Amazon but they look listed the wrong size of the box what they listed was the shipping box the size of the shipping box so it ended up being too small for my battery. So I had to send it back. I'm waiting for another one to come in. 
But when it does come in, it will be right. It will be mounted just like that. Well, sideways, of course. Save some more. Maybe, nope, just be like that. So, let me get the cable for. All right, it's got my cable for my fish finder. See if I could do this with one hand. Probably not. Let's see, one second. There we go. Oh, and it came out. No way. I guess I gotta figure up something better for that then. Oh well. I'll have to fix that later. Of course it's gonna do it while here on camera. But anyway, the fish finder does work. It does get power. Battery's all charged up. I do have more things coming in for the kayak. I have my seat off because I had to install my transducer and all. But tomorrow I have two inch seat risers coming in for it. Finally, I was finally able to find some. So that way I can put my tackle box underneath my seat. Make it a lot easier to get to. So that is going on right now. I had my maiden voyage yesterday, February 5th, and it was actually a lot of fun. Only problem was, is my paddle was too short. So I had all kind of water all over me, all inside the boat. So I got to get on order in the longer kayak paddle. So I think the one I have is like a 50 something inch. I need a 94 inch. So I'll be getting that soon. Uh, depending on the weather tomorrow, I'm going to take the boat out again. Go out on Lake Moripaw or out in the marshes by Lake Pontchartrain right here in lower Louisiana. And I'll get the settings all set for my fish finder and see how it goes tomorrow. So please, I'm going to be adding more content to my channel here. Hopefully get it built up. So if you like this video, like it. Oh, of course, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hopefully in the next few days or next week, I'll have some more DIYs and updates I'll be posting up here. Take it easy, y'all.